hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to another Millennial Movie Member Request. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. I'm a millennial that likes to go back and watch your older classic movies for the very first time. That's on Mondays. On Fridays, I take requests from my Millennial Movie members of any movie, of any year, of any genre, and I gotta watch it. Now, today comes to you from Millennial Movie member Tachi, and he actually could not decide between two different movies. This one... Mulholland Drive. I hope I'm saying that right. Mulholland, Mulholland Drive, maybe? Anyways, this movie or Old Boy. And so he asked me to make a poll on Patreon for everyone to vote. And this one is the one that won the poll. I have no idea what this movie is about. I did see where it is two and a half hours long. So I just want y'all to know that my ADHD brain is already screaming in agony. But last time Tachi requested a crazy long film, it was 2001 A Space Odyssey and I loved it. So I gotta stop pooping on movies when they say they're super long. It's not about the length, it's about the girth. I have got to get my life together. I don't wanna look up a movie poster. I've actually really enjoyed getting surprised by movies recently. So I don't know why I ever ruined movies for myself by looking up a movie poster. We're just gonna jump right into it. No more diddle dally. Let's get right on into today's Millennial Movie Member Request from Millennial Movie Member Tachi, which is the... Whoa, what movie? The 2001 Mulholland Drive. You know what? Get into it. I don't know what the hell's happening, but I love it so far. Why is everybody dressed like this could be The Office, the musical? <laughs> Hello? Oh, are we seeing through somebody else's eyes? Mulholland Drive. I guess people on this road like to dance. Oh, she pretty. Look at her cheekbones. Are you kidding me? What are you doing? We don't stop here. Oh, different people. Okay, clearly. Listen, if anybody made it out of that white car alive, they better get religious fast, because the Lord's got plans for them. You're alive, and no bumps or bruises. Good job, girl. Proud of you. You mean to tell me that other car that was traveling with the white car didn't turn around and help anybody? That's shitty. I thought she was going to get hit for a second time, and I was going to be like, girl, take a hint. Okay, Hollywood. Maybe you should go to the hospital. In a limo. <laughs> Doesn't want to be seen. Is she a famous person? Girl, you hit your head. Don't take a nap. You're going to die. Any of those dead kids wearing pearl earrings? Could be someone's missing, maybe. For sure. But I think she's going to turn up soon. Somebody's going to find her on them steps. What's your plan? And why are we not going to a hospital? You gonna take a little nap again? Yeah, get you some sleep, girl. That's fine. Would hate for you to get medical attention. I just wanted to come here. To Winkies? This Winkies. Why? Is Winkies a real place? I had a dream about this place. Okay, fun. What happened in the dream? Then I realized what it is. What is it? I can see his face. What? I hope that I never see that face ever outside of a dream. What kind of face was it that has you this scared? To get rid of this god-awful feeling. Right then. What was your plan? What is what is supposed to happen, friend? I don't understand. <gasps> now it's deja vu, isn't it? He is scared, but he's scared of you. This is either about to be really silly or, like, really scary. Okay, the suspense, the suspense, the suspense. What the fuck is that? 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 Is that a real thing? Is that a real person? Why isn't the person he was talking to freaking out? Hmm. I don't know enough about rotary phones. I don't understand why he did one number and then da ding da ding and then did another one. Man, she is super excited to be in Los Angeles. <laughs> Uh, oh, she's excited about LA so she can get famous. Gotcha. 1612 Havenhurst. Man, she is just raring to go. She's ready. She's gonna get 
famous and make a ton of money. Are they okay? Are you okay? Okay. I wouldn't leave my bags out there. Anybody from the street could grab them. Just call me Coco. Everybody else does. Wait. Coco's nose is pointy. Everybody in this building is pretty much okay with me, or they wouldn't be here. Oh. Hmm, okay, that's weird to say. I'll introduce you around. No hard feelings if you don't. Did she even grab her b bags when she came this direction, or did she leave them up at the road again? Okay, ever since Scary Man Behind Dumpsters, I never know what to expect, and now I'm scared. I just have anxiety now! Okay, that isn't great. Nope! Uh-uh. A car accident. You okay? Well, we don't know because she won't go to the hospital about it. Get out of here and we can talk later. I have so many questions about everybody in this movie so far. Gilda? Is her aunt famous? My name's Rita. That's not true. That's not your name. You just got that from the poster. She's letting me stay here while she's working on a movie that's being made in Canada. What a sweet setup. That is, I guess you'd say, sort of why I came here. Okay, wow, your whole life story in five seconds. Well, you can imagine how I feel. She's still not doing good. We should take her to the hospital. Where were you hurt? Nowhere important, just my head. Oh, we should call a doctor. That's what I've been saying. I need to sleep. If you have a concussion... You Girl, I already told her. And that's all anybody here is asking you to do. I mean, that just means he's gonna say no. Let's try the next one. He's not gonna like it. So they're making a bunch of deals with a lot of people, okay. Mr. Gliani, brothers, let me introduce you. Oh, no handshake, rude. Why is this threatening? If you're just casting a new lead, why is this threatening? What's the photo for? Your lead actress. You know what? I don't like silent rooms, and so I would be doing what I'm doing now and just currently just filling, filling the room with so much hot air. Wee wee woo, woo woo woo. Wee wee woo, woo woo woo. What's so wrong with it? What is going on here? D my thoughts exactly. What is going on? That girl is not in my film. It's no longer your film. Oof. You were supposed to keep an open mind. I definitely wouldn't do that. These look like the kind of guys who wouldn't mind to kill you. Do you want him replaced? Then. I am so confused. Then we'll shut everything down. What? I don't know what we're doing. An accident like that? Who could have foreseen that? <laughs> The car wreck that your friends died in? But that story, that made you laugh, right? That was a funny story, man. Well, I want to hear the full story. And phone numbers. Um, holy shit. Um. Well, that's unfortunate. Um. Did you hit someone? <gasps> Something bit me. Something bit you? <laughs> Could this be going more wrong for this guy? Oh my god, now the janitor? No! 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 Oh, damn. Now you gotta kill the janitor! What are you gonna do with three bodies? You're hoping it'll become a, a, a her, what am I trying to say? Murder suicide? You could have just unplugged the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Damn. Damn, that sucks, dude. Or I'll take him with the coffee into the courtyard like a regular movie star. <laughs> yes, girl, live your best life. Find your friend Rita here. What do you mean? Oh my God. What a mess. 
I'm worried. I'm worried. And I think you do need the police, actually. I just talked to my aunt on the phone, and she wants me to call the police. I think I would have called the police instead of asking the stranger in the home. You know what I mean? I don't know who I am. Arita. No, I'm not. Oh, we got amnesia? I did not plan two amnesia movies back to back. The Long Kiss Goodnight and Mulholland Drive. I did not plan this. This is wild. What? What do you have in your purse? What do you have in your purse? A shit ton of money, that's what you got in your purse. What were you into, girl? And a blade? And a- what is that? What is that? Are you gonna want anything? Not here. Do y'all think she has a bra on? Does it make you remember anything? Girl. If it did, don't you think she would have said something? I wonder where you were going. Mulholland Drive. Title line. We'll pretend to be someone else. I mean, if you don't know who you are, are you actually pretending to be someone else? Wow! Could you imagine having that kind of view? Could you imagine? Could you imagine making that kind of money to have that kind of view? Is that Billy Ray Cyrus? It's better that way. What are you doing, my guy? What the hell are you even doing here? How are you gonna be defensive when you got caught cheating? You probably upset me, Ray. Really? That's news to me. That is unique. That is unique. I'd never anticipated seeing Billy Ray Cyrus in here. You know, other than putting the paint in the jewelry, bro is being really calm about all this. Wow, we are really moving at a snail's pace. Well, I want to know if there was an accident on Mulholland Drive. Was anyone hurt? Yeah, you asking a lot of questions. You're starting to get suspicious, girl. Diane Selwyn. Maybe that's my name. Did we have to come all the way back to the house to do this? To say that? D. Selwyn. It's the only one. Well, if she is Diane Selwyn, then who's going to answer the phone if she's with you? I guess she could be married. Oh, it's me. Leave a message. It's you. That's not my voice. It's not her. Never mind. I don't know. Get out! Honestly, she wouldn't get off you. She wouldn't get off you. You gotta do what you gotta do. We're an hour into this movie and I still have no idea what's going on. I'm guessing these are all pieces of a puzzle that we're slowly putting together. Two guys from your bank came by. Mmm, not from the bank. What were you hiding from? Didn't know where you are. Oh shit. Oh shit. Do you know somebody called the cowboy? Please tell me that's Billy Ray Cyrus. You'll have to go to the top of Beechwood Canyon, and there's a corral. Oh, at the top of a canyon. That doesn't have pushing you over the edge written all over it. Sure. No, it's just been that kind of a day. <laughs> He's like, you know, what else could go wrong? I'll tempt fate. We'll go over there, and we'll find out. Hold on, aren't police reports public record? That ain't Coco. Who are you? Who are you? Someone is in trouble. Something bad is happening. What? To get her out. I want you to get her out now. Who? Okay, so she's just crazy. Stop it, Louise. I'm taking you home. Who is she? Who is she talking about? She said it was somebody else who was in trouble. Who are you talking to, crazy old lady? Wow. Why does Betty love this so much? Like, Betty just looks like she's enjoying herself a little too much. You know what I mean? That's a cowboy. That's a cowboy. The hat and the bandana. I can't with this guy. Man's attitude goes some ways. Is that something you might agree with? Was this a philosophical cowboy? 
that a man's attitude determines to a large extent how his life will be. See, that's what you said. So he heard you. He was listening. Think about it. Can you do that for me? I don't understand what's going on in this movie. I'm driving this buggy. You can ride along with me. Wow, okay. But that lead girl is not up to you. I mean, it's not a bad trade. Two more times, if you do bad. Oh, wow, okay. Okay, wow, all right. That was scary as hell. What is going on? What is going on? I thought that's what you wanted. Nobody wants you here. They're practicing lines. I kill you. Then they put you in jail. She's doing a great job. <laughs> then I cry, cry, cry. And then I say with Betty. You should practice crying. I can't cry on cue. Uh, Betty, can I see you outside for a minute? Okay, listen. Her having a friend over is not a problem. They're not being rowdy. They're just enjoying coffee together. She's not doing anything wrong. I was afraid of that. She wants to know who's staying in her apartment. Oh, that's a great... Okay, you need to answer that. But if there is trouble, get rid of it. Okay, so you thought the crazy lady was crazy until... Okay, I don't know! I don't know! I don't know! I don't know! And my audition is in one hour! Why would you eat an hour before your audition? Okay, yeah, I'd be looking like that too. If I... If I yep, that's the same face I would make. Woody Katz, who we have cast in the part of Chuck, and will do the scene with you. That's a good-looking old man. That's a good-looking old man. Martha. It's Martha Johnson, whom you met out front. Did she? We didn't see that. That's information to us. Until it gets real. What does that mean? What? Now, we're going to play this nice and close. Oh, wow. Okay. This is weird for everybody. Betty, are you kind of into this? This is a wild scene. You're his best friend. What? This is wild. Why is this the best acting of the movie I've seen thus far? The fake scene. You know that man has the, just, he is just bricked up. You know he is. Good lord, woman. You full on committed to, oh my god. You are audition. well, you know what? Get into it. You're auditioning. Sell it. Well, then they put you in jail. We have a movie inside of a movie. I'm living for it. I'm going to take her over there. Yeah, big time. Wow, that was a great scene. All of a sudden, Woody's gonna be like, Speaking of Woody! Baby, you got away with you. <laughs> really? <laughs> He's just saying that because you got to touch her ass. It was forced, maybe, but still humanistic. Was it forced? Didn't feel that way. Oh, I thank you, Betty. Oh, yeah, he's gonna think about that scene later. It was nice meeting all of you. What was the best acting in this movie so far? The fake audition! God, that was awful. What? He'll never get that picture made. No. Wow. I ought to. I was married to him for 10 years. Lordy Bay girl. Conflict of interest. Okay, dude on the far right has not broken eye contact with a camera this entire time. And it makes me uncomfortable. Oh, what? Y'all in love? Love at first sight? Although she does look like the girl of the headshot earlier. Oh, God, is that what's going to happen? Is he going to get him confused? You're so cruel to me. Don't you forget me. I'm the girl that's playing this part. Huh? I'll see you later. Yeah, if it were up to him, yeah. Unfortunately for you... Ah, oh, blowing a smoke ring is so cool. Girl, put a little bit more into it. A little bit more believable. Mm. This is the girl. He did it. 
Girl, your first time meeting these directors and you gotta go? For a friend who don't even know who she is? Sled, front, in the car. Do you know him? No, but they looking kind of suspicious. Also, okay, after the long kiss goodnight and now this movie, how does amnesia work? Like, if you get amnesia, how, I mean, it, how do you remember? You mean to tell me, like, you can just lose your memory and just not have it? Mm, 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 mm. Not messing with that one. Why? What's the point of waiting? You remember that time Billy Ray Cyrus was in this movie? Wild. She's in 17. Oh. It's down at the end on the left. What? What's that about? She still got some of my stuff. Why is she being so weird? She's been super weird. Why isn't the brunette doing this? Why isn't she knocking on the door? Like, we're trying to find out her identity. Come on, I'll open the front door. Girl, going in through the front door doesn't make it any better. Trespassing is trespassing. Oh, she did. She big dead. She hella dead. Oh, she been dead for a second, huh? I don't want to see her. Girl, why'd you scream like that? You knew she was dead when you saw her. Just be quiet. Just be quiet. So now we don't know who she is, why the brunette knows who she is, and why she's dead. I know what you have to do. Can you tell me? Get into it, girl. Love that for you. Twinsies. You don't have to wear that in the house. What? The wig, not the towel, you idiot. Come on, just get in and get a good night's sleep. Sleepover! Do you sleep naked? Oh my god, titties. She sleep naked! Do you sleep in naked with a stranger? I don't know how we solve any of this, how we figure out any of this, and how it all ties together. Oh my god, are we doing this? Are they doing this? I think they're doing this. Oh, they doing it. They doing it. So, what y'all eating for dinner? What y'all doing over there? You, not them. I know what they're doing. I'm talking to you. You're in love with her? You can't just say that to somebody who doesn't even know who they are because they have amnesia and now y'all been running around. You just saw a dead body! Silencio. Are you sleep talking or? Silencio. I'm freaking out. Stop. Silencio. Is, it, is this sleep paralysis? Okay, two o'clock in the morning, thumb your way through. Oh, it's a taxi. Okay, I was gonna be like, y'all look like a couple of prostitutes right now. I clearly don't know how taxis work. Wow. See a dead body. Have your first, first lesbian experience. She says she loves you and you don't say it back. And then you wake up and now you're on an adventure to somewhere random. What a big night. Big night. Oh. It's a club? I thought it was Italian. I thought it was a word in Italian. That's how tape works. Now, why'd you say there wasn't a band? Well, I guess a muted trumpet isn't a band. I guess it's just a trumpet. It's all recorded. Okay, okay, okay. Girl, are you okay? Do you have epilepsy? Are you okay? What's happening here? What is happening? 
What is... Okay. Hey, it's that guy. That guy that had the place. Now, is she really singing? Or is it somebody else? Is this also an illusion? Mucho más que ayer. We're getting this whole song right now. Oh, it is an illusion. It is an illusion. Okay. It is an illusion. She is lip syncing. Okay. This is all part of the show. This is all part of the show. Where'd you get that? Every time I think I'm going to get some type of clarity, there's like a new mystery to this already existing mystery. And I'm just so confused right now. Do we need the blue key to open the blue square? How did we know that the blue square was going to be there? Betty? Where the fuck Betty go? Where the hell did Betty go? You still gonna open the blue box? You still don't know where Betty is? What? Hey! And what's your tits? Welcome back. I don't know where Betty went. I don't know where no name Rita went. What are we doing? What are we doing? She's dead. So now we find out how sh she died and who she is? Betty? Oh, that's the other girl, the Rhodes girl. Not a very discreet peephole. I am so confused, you guys. Okay, blue key, but for what? Whoa! Hey, Camilla, who? What is happening? Oh, titties again. Oh my God, and more titties. I do not understand what's happening. I'm not mad about this, but I just don't know what I'm watching. I don't know what's going on in this movie. I shouldn't do this anymore. What? Well, that's not what we like to hear. You broke up with her and she killed herself? There's too many people around here. Let's get this worked out. So her name is Camilla and she's actually an actress. Is she doing this to make Diane jealous? Clearly. Clearly, because it's working. Y'all better stop! Y'all better stop! You're supposed to be acting. Ooh. Kill the lights! Oh my god! Oh my god! And for the god and everybody. I mean, they cleared the set, but Diane was there and so was Actor Man. Ooh. <laughs> what is happening? Is she? There's two really different things happening in this scene. To one person. Diane, the car's waiting. Are you okay? No. What? I just don't know. I just don't know what's happening. But I guess, I guess we're coming to this. This is what we're doing, I think. There's the limo. Hmm. She's in the limo. We don't stop here. That's what Camilla said. Shortcut. What is happening? Is she gonna kill her? But why would she need to kill her? I don't know. Okay, she's really pretty. 
The brunette is really, really, really pretty. Oh, this is at Adam's house. Ah, uh, perfect timing. Did she do this to make Diane jealous again? She's a really shitty person to Diane, huh? Ah, uh, here she is. Huh? I don't believe you met my mother. What? Well, let's eat. I'm starving. You didn't know the other woman? You're not going to ask who the other woman is? They already know each other. I won this jitterbug contest. So it's Betty? I am so confused. Oh my god, so Camilla just be kissing and having sex with any and everybody. I mean, I guess when you're that hot, I guess you can do that, I guess. And then there's the cowboy. What? What, 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 who are you? But she was Diane. I sure do. She hired a hit on Camilla. When it's finished, you'll find this where I told you. And use it to open what? There's that crazy fucker. I gotta be so honest, y'all. I don't think I've been this confused since I watched Memento. With a box. The box. Hey, it's the old couple. I don't know. I don't understand a single thing that's happening. I don't understand a single thing that's happening. So it's done. You have the key. But now we don't know what the key opens. But it's not really done because Camilla got out of the car. Oh, holy shit, scary ass old people. <laughs> She killed herself. Okay. It's the blue wig lady that was there earlier. That's the end of the movie. Well, let's... <laughs> let's talk about it. So... I could add, I you know I could I could pull stuff out of my ass and tell you that that's my interpretation of it but I'm going to be honest I could I could reach elbow deep in my asshole right now and not find any kind of explanation that I can give you I have no idea what happened and so I am going to google it I had a text from Hubbin hold on M Explain Mulholland Drive. A dark fable that turns the Hollywood dream into a nightmare. This movie is often cited among the best films of the 21st century so far, and more than 20 years on from its release, it's provided some kind of word that I don't know how to say enough that viewers are still enthralled to its mysteries. So apparently this same guy... David Lynch is the man behind Blue Velvet, haven't seen, Twin Peaks, haven't seen, and Eraserhead, haven't seen, and is famed for his surreal narratives that almost always defy viewers' attempts to explain away their mysteries. Can confirm that part. Got that part down. Okay. Initially, it plays out like a stylized mystery against the backdrop of Hollywood Hills as Betty attempts to help... Um, you know, what's the word? The A word, amnesia, amnesia, whatever. Rita, discover her real identity. As the movie goes on, though, there are sinister hints that all is not as it seems, and as soon as the narrative breaks down, eventually shifting into a harsher reality in which the two women take on very different roles. Lynch is a filmmaker who prefers to let his audience come to their own conclusions about his stories. 
If you've left, if you've been left baffled by Mulholland Drive on your first viewing, this cheat sheet should shed some light on its mysteries. Okay. According to one of the most common interpretations of this film, best understood as a dream sequence. I. I don't even understand. I don't even understand how dream sequence is possible, though, because once Diane, the blonde, wakes up in the bed after we thought she was dead. I have no I don't know. I can't I don't make heads or tails of it like, OK. Was Diane the blonde who we saw paying a hitman? Is she some kind of lowlife who's obsessed with this movie star? And so, like, she gets obsessed and she pays a hitman. And then what happens is Diane sees the key on the table. She knows it's done. But then she killed herself. When in reality, if... The movie starts when the deed is already done with the key tur with the blue key on Diane's table, then maybe, you know, we saw Diane at the diner with the waitress, her name was Betty. So then maybe once she realized that Rita slash Camilla wasn't dead, she took on Betty as a persona, but then that doesn't explain how Betty got into the aunt's house if she's not really Betty. I don't know. I don't know. Listen, listen, I watched 2001 Space Odyssey, right? Great film, by the way. I loved it. If you haven't checked out that reaction, please go watch it. Um, I watched that and the overwhelming majority of those comments, y'all were so proud of me for like having thought it out and like having a good interpretation not good but like a more logical and maybe critical thinking understanding of the film right I don't have any of that for you on this one I have no idea what just happened to me I have no idea what I watched if somebody asked me what happened in this movie I don't know what to tell them <laughs> is the blonde Betty is the blonde, well, did she make Camilla slash Rita go blonde because she wanted to be the famous actress, thus feeding into my conclusion that maybe Diane was a lowlife who wanted to be famous. I don't know. I don't know. It's like, it's like Diane wanted to be anybody but her, herself. I don't know. <laughs> but you know what else is wild? It's... I wouldn't be against watching this again. I don't know why. It's not, I don't want to watch it tomorrow. Don't get me, don't get it twisted. I don't want to watch it tomorrow. I, man, I have no rhyme or reason for this movie. After, I was really bored the first like 30 minutes because I was really confused. I was like, when are we going to settle with a character? You don't. Uh, surprise, you don't. And once I accepted that fact, I was like, oh, okay, this is just how it is. Then I really got into it and, like, I have, I have no interpretation for you. I have none. I don't even know what kind of stars to give it because I'm not disappointed. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I don't know. If you know what this movie is about, please let me know down below. Tachi, thank you so much for supporting me, the channel, and Beans Like You Do, and for always getting me to watch movies that will just take me one step outside of my comfort zone. Sometimes, sometimes it's a teensy step, but then you got this movie that's like a giant leap. But fun nevertheless. Coming up, we got Christmas with the Cranks, and we got While You Were Sleeping, rounding out your 2023 experience here on the Hot Mess Express. So I hope you like, subscribe, stick around, and of course I'm live over on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday. So I hope to see you there. Two links to social media down below if you want to be my friend outside the YouTubeverse, and I'll see you right back here on Monday. Bye!